Hello and welcome to another episode in my series on pistons. This time the focus is on trash compactors. Classic compactors, generally you would just throw your items into lava or the void or a cacti and they would be destroyed. However, if you accidentally throw something in, there's no real way to get them back and so I've used pistons this time to make it a bit safer in that you have the opportunity to collect your items before they're destroyed. So, first off, we have the lava trash compactor, you know, vertically and such. Now this one's pretty straightforward, you just throw your items in and press the switch. The unfortunate thing about it is, because it's pushing items, it won't actually push them whenever they're too close. They have to be about center in the uh, piston in order to actually launch items, either horizontally or vertically so you have to stand really close and look down and then when you press the button it launches your items and they get toasted so you can't really stand really cl uh, you can't stand close to it and throw a bunch of items from your inventory you know just pitching them in and such because you're only given a few seconds to do so if you're standing here tossing stuff in then eventually you're just gonna start picking stuff back up so you only have a few seconds to actually throw down everything before you press the switch unless you're a good aim at throwing them which I'm I'm not really so next we have the horizontal version of that you can use a sign to prevent lava from spilling out into the collection into the uh, launching area and use lava instead of a cacti, but I use a cacti here because it's less expensive to get and I'd like to show you how you could do it that way. So you'd pretty much just do the same thing, throw in your items and press the switch. But it's prone to the same faults as the vertical version in that you have to stand by and throw them in the middle and then it just launches them into the cacti. Functional, but once again you can't really use it quite as easily. So next we have a bit of flowing versions of what we have here. Lava and water. So this is a flowing version of that one behind me and what you do is you just throw your items in and um, you're given a chance to walk in and pick up your items if you've accidentally thrown something important in. So you just throw your items in given quite a bit of distance to do so and then when you pull the switch you're given a safety bar and the lava is released and it burns the stuff and then when you pull it back the lava disappears and the safety goes away what it's doing with this is just using this lever to power this piston and then the power from it goes around the back and into an inverter which then uses the power for the other piston so that it's the opposite when this piston is open this piston is closed the inverter is doing that next we have the water version which is very nice because it gives you uh, more time to do it as well because by the way whenever you throw stuff in here if you accidentally press the switch and forgot you're given a few seconds to close it and it'll just break off that bit of lava and you can pick it back up this offers that same protection in that you can throw items in and press the switch and if you see an item you didn't want in there you just pull the switch again and pick up the items before it touches the cactus or lava if you use a sign and if you were to use a sign you'd have to place it around this area meaning another wall so as you can see this switch is next to the door and the piston so that when the door or when you pull the switch the piston activates and the door opens so you don't have to do much work and it prevents the water from escaping into your home or base whatever so just to demonstrate again pull the switch water flows and breaks stuff against the cacti cactus, whatever. But the winner, the clear winner, in terms of time to build and safety, well not really safety, it 
it's not quite as safe as the other ones, but in terms of time to build and expense in building is the very compact compactor. Pretty much you just throw stuff in, pull the switch, and it drops it on top of a cactus, lava, or a void, what, whatever your uh, preferred destruction method is. They're all very simple, pretty easy to use. Some are a bit expensive, requires a bit of redstone and uh, pistons. But if you don't have any redstone and you want an inexpensive way to build a compactor, I would suggest this one. Because all you need is just one bit of redstone if you can get it. Obviously, they all need at least one, but you just need one bit of redstone and a switch. Very inexpensive. You can use a cactus. So. That's all for this particular video. See you next time.